Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about the exercise of lesson number 2 that is mass wasting. Okay, now uh, the question 1 like match the pair along with the correct correlation and identify the correct group is already solved in the first part with give reasons. Now we are going to start with question number 5 that is write the short notes. Now the first uh, short note is on gravity and soliflexion. Now what is gravity? We all know that gravity is the force which is uh, which has a gravitational force which tends to pull everything down. Okay, so this is the uh, force which is available on earth uh, which acts everywhere on the earth and it pulls everything down. What is soliflexion? It is a type of down, slow and creep type of movement which is seen in paraglacial and alpine regions where there is high snowfall or uh, the precipitation is in the form of glaciers. Okay, so it is uh, measured very slowly in the form of millimeters and centimeters per year. Okay, so this is totally a slow type of mass movement. These permafrost is very impermeable to water, soil, overlying and it may become oversaturated and slide slope down under the pull of gravity. Now, the next short note is on role of water in the mass wasting. Now, what is the role of water? As we all know that we have a water which works like a transportation medium, which has a capability to uh, take the resources, take the material along with it. Okay. Now, uh, the additional to water from the rainfall or snowfall or melting of snow makes the material or the slope heavier. Okay. The water can seep into the soil in, inside the rock and start increasing the weight of that material. Okay, it gets heavier day by day. Water can also reduce the friction. We all know that because of water, the smoothness of the surface increases. Okay, and because of that, the friction decreases and the material can easily slide on the surface. All these factors are very much essential in the case of mass wasting, which increases the materials to come down from the slope. Hence, the role of water in the case of mass wasting is very much important. Now, the next short note is on exfoliation. Now, exfoliation means what? It is basically seen in the case of hot areas with an high pressure. Okay. So, uh, the rock which is beneath, which is in the interior, it experiences a lot of pressure. Okay. And these surface rock, they start exerting a pressure on the, the inner rocks. And because of that, there is expansion of the rock. So, as a result, the pressure difference, uh, differences at the depth high and surface low. The outer part, few centimeters or meters, the outer part, it starts expanding outwards and they, it starts separating from the lower layer. And this type of weathering is called as dislodgement. Okay. So, dislodgement is basically the part of rock which comes out, which starts weathering because of high pressure release. Okay. And it is very common in the igneous rocks like granite rocks. Okay. Next is weathering and honeycomb homogeneity in the rock. Now, the rocks which are exposed are always affected because of the climatic change. We all know the climate reacts easily to the rocks like it is hot climate, cold climate, it is full of glaciers, rainfall. All these pressure, heat, they start reacting on the rock. So, the rocks which have the joints, they start breaking easily at the joint. Okay. So, sedimentary rocks also break easily because they are already made up of small, small sediments. Now, weathering is a physical and or a chemical breakdown in the case of weather condition. It occurs mainly because of action of water and temperature on the rock. The speed of weathering always depends on the minerals present in the igneous rocks, whereas the rocks that contains iron and start eroding easily. In Maharashtra plateau, the weathering of basalt rock is resulted into the formation of black soil and favorable for cotton cultivation. Okay. So, this is about the weathering and homogeneity in the rocks. You need to explain how all the rocks, they start reacting to weathering. Next is carbonation. Now, 
carbonation uh, to uh, for the process of carbonation type of weathering you require the presence of carbon dioxide abhi ye carbon dioxide aapko kahan pe milega the trees they release carbon dioxide the automobile industry is the vehicles they release carbon dioxide so the presence of carbon dioxide is always present in the atmosphere so these co2s they start reacting with the minerals which are present inside the rock so there are some minerals which react very fast to the uh, carbon dioxide leads to carbonic acids okay so the minerals like limestone it starts reacting okay so these uh, minerals they lead to the formation of carbonation process so often carbonation and solution they basically occur simultaneously because carbonation the calcium and the carbonate in the limestone detach from each other and therefore it starts decomposing the limestone so limestone dolomite these are the examples of sedimentary rocks which easily reacts with the carbon now the next question is question number 6 you have to draw a neat and label diagram so the first diagram is regarding freeze and thaw weathering so you can see this is how the diagram which is already given in your textbook now the second one is block disintegration so you have you can see that you have several types of block on the rock and the rock uh, the block by block at each and every joint there is a weathering and there is a separation of blocks next we have biological weathering even this diagram is present in the book you can draw this weathering or you can also draw any type of burrowing of animals so that is also one of the biological weathering last question of this exercise is question number 7 that is answer in detail so the first question is explain with example the process of weathering happening in konkan okay so uh, we all know that the climate in konkan is very much humid the presence of salt is there in the soil okay and uh, even there is hot hot climate as uh, it is very close to the coastal area so it it has a narrow coastline first of all it has a narrow coastline of west sayadri mountain which is called as konkan so the climate in konkan is always humid and dry okay so uh, they have large amount of heat and they have large amount of salt present which starts bleaching the rock okay so in this the alkali water which is which has the soluble components in the rocks these gets uh, they get mixed up with small holes in the rock and they start begin to form and this result in the liquefaction okay the salt water is collected through such holes although the alkali is a small chemical compound it also causes the physical breakdown so the content like calcium sodium magnesium potassium all these contents are found inside the rock which starts reacting with the salts and the crystallization starts forming you can also draw a uh, figure of honeycomb weathering because basically such type of weathering is seen in the coastal areas where the amount of heat and salt is more in the uh, surface area of the rock which looks like a bee hive next is last question that is explain the correlation between himalayas and mass movement okay now himalaya is a mountainous region where you can see it is totally covered by hilly terrains okay so these mountains they have high peaks as well as they have high slopes now these loose pieces of rocks begin to slide downwards in the direction due to the gravitational forces okay basically for uh, the mass movement to occur you require a big elevation and a slope okay so a surface or a material from high height comes down because of gravitational pull so uh, all these materials they accumulate at the bottom of the steep slope and they are called as conical pile okay now these types of things are called as erosion erosion is what it is a gravitational process uh, where all the material is transported from one place to another place so due to this movement and the substances comes down the slope without the help of water ice and wind so wherever there is a slope the slope never requires any other medium okay it can only the slope is enough with a gravitational force to bring the materials down so extensive movement occurs in the slopes consistently there is wide spread of erosion which can be seen like it occurs very rapidly on the high slope 
and at the gentle slope so wherever the slope is very high in the case of uh, himalaya mountains you can see there is a rapid type of erosion okay so these erosions are very destructive as large area a uh, large area with large amount of material comes down rapidly and next is slow extensive weathering in which a dry climatic region and this activity of moving the soil is very or it is more frequent it is basically seen on those types of mountains which has a low slope okay which has a very small slope so this is all about the exercise of lesson number 2 weathering and mass movement a complete exercise uh, with part 1 and part 2 is uploaded on my channel keep watching subscribe the channel